everything. They shouldn't use this for detention in any form for human. They can bring in animals, cow feet or whatever they can to help the community, not bring in humans. When I went through them, I tried to use the ladder some few hours ago, and I saw humans being locked in there. It is not proper. There is no way they can access to other humans. They've been through a lot, coming through from the channels, coming into this country, thinking that they'll have a safe space to be in. Look at what they've done. It's, it's inhuman. It's not right. No human should do that to another human. I'm here in this country because of my sexuality. I wouldn't be here going through hell, the asylum system here in the UK is, if it's not because my life is in danger for my own country. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. I never planned for, and at the end of the day, I was released after six weeks. I've been there, coming back today here, I've seen a lot of people in this place. It brings out the, back the memory of what I went through in there. And uh, to be honest with you, I want this place shut down because it's not fit for human beings. And this place really allowed me to know the extent, the depth of in human treatment that exists that goes on in this country because I want to be I believe not many people know about this place and it's been kept away. If you look at the journey that we made to this place, it's I mean it's, it's terrible and it's horrendous. So I want this place shut down now. Thank you. You know that you were detained here and, and say something about the fight about like why you demonstrate why you fight and, and what you want to say to the people who are currently detained i i'm Yulin, and i was detained here in 2018 march 2018 after my passport was taken by the home office on whether laws are destroyed. And to know that it was an unlawful detainment because I haven't done anything wrong. So it was unlawful to detain me from my last passport that threw the home office and take me here. And it was a trauma inside this place here called Yarswood. I have my resident number until today that I get here. And it caused me a lot of stress, a lot of distress, a lot of trauma. And I wouldn't wish that for the people that they are saying that all women are no longer in Yardswood and only people who are crossing the channel that it is kept far. I am saying that it is inhumane for the people who cross channel running for their lives from the country that they are being set up on to be prosecuted and they have to run for their lives to cross those channels. And to cross a channel and to come in this place where I know it was a trauma for me. So I know the trauma that it will be for these people that are here now. What they are gonna face, it's inhuman, traumatic. They are gonna be facing abuse. They are going to be facing torture. So it's like a double punishment. And it shouldn't be. They should be protected. And this place, Yardswood, cannot protect these people.
it cannot. And I'm here to say that enough is enough. I know what I have been through and I'm just imagining what these people here now are bring, being through, are going through, not knowing who are their lawyers, who are their legal representative because they haven't got one. At least I did have a legal representative. These people are left out in the cold with no representative, just waiting to be thrown back to where they are running from, a prosecution. So today, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I wouldn't miss coming at Yardswood today for the world to say, enough is enough, shut it down now. Shut down Yardswood now for good. It is inhumane. It is institutional racism. It is a waste of taxpayers' money and it should be shut down for good. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you.